The Kingdom of Kedar Kedar was an ancient Arab tribal confederation, largely nomadic, centered in the Wadi Sirhan in the Syrian desert. Since the 9th century BCE, the Kedarites established a strong political system, expanding their territory from the 9th to the 7th century BCE to cover a large area in northern Arabia. Their domain stretched from eastern Jordan in the west to the western borders of Babylon in the east. By the 6th to 5th century BCE, they had moved westward to form a kingdom that extended from the eastern borders of the Nile Delta in the west to eastern Jordan, covering much of southern Palestine, the Sinai Peninsula, and the Negev. Kedar is also mentioned in the holy scriptures of the Abrahamic religions. They appear in the Hebrew Bible and Christian Bible as descendants of Kedar, the second son of Ishmael, who himself was the son of Abraham. Within Arab heritage, the kingdom of Kedar is considered the largest and most significant historical Arab kingdom of the first millennium BCE. The Kedarites led a tribal Arab confederation or alliance of Arab tribes, most of whom were nomadic. According to Philip King, the Kedarites lived in the northwestern Arabian desert and were a powerful force between the 8th and 4th centuries BCE. Historian and translator Jeffrey Bromley writes their name as Kedar and notes that they lived in the area southeast of Damascus and east of Jordan. In the 8th century BCE, Assyrian inscriptions indicate the presence of Kedarites in the region east of the western borders of Babylon. They are also noted in areas east of Jordan and southern Syria in the 7th century BCE. By the 5th century BCE, they had spread to the Sinai Peninsula and the Nile Delta. Kedarite control of northwestern Arabia included alliances between the kings of Kedar and the kings of Dedan. Historian Israel F. All wrote that the wide distribution of the Kedarites suggests a union of tribes from different subdivisions. The inhabitants of the kingdom of Kedar lived in the desert region north and northwest of the Arabian Peninsula. Urban oases like Duma and Taima played a crucial role as settlement sites, trade centers, and irrigation places. Duma, known as Duma al-Jandal, was the most important of these cities and a center of worship. It was named after Duma bin Ishmael and later known as Duma al-Jandal, with Jandal referring to the stones scattered in that area. Located in the present-day al-Jaf region, Duma al-Jandal gained significant importance for the Kedarites due to its strategic trade location, serving as a central intersection for various trade routes. During the period around 550, 330 BCE, the Kedarites controlled the desert regions adjacent to Egypt and Palestine, managing trade routes leading to Gaza. Herodotus, circa 484, 425 BCE, mentioned the presence of Kedarites in northern Sinai near the Egyptian border, suggesting they might have clashed with the Achaemenids, the Persian imperial authorities, to secure their borders. Additionally, the Kedarites controlled the city of Gaza. The influence of the kingdom of Kedar extended from its capital, Duma al-Jandal, to the western borders of Babylon and southward to Dedan, approximately 21 kilometers to the south in the Hejaz. They also conquered areas in southern Syria and eastern Jordan, extending their authority to the inhabited regions of Jabal Bishri and the borders of Damascus. In the city of Piathon, Tel El Maskuta, a silver vessel inscribed with the name of Kainu bin Gashem, king of Kedar, was found indicating the kingdom's influence reaching eastern Egypt in the 5th century BCE. This supports Herodotus's account that Kedarite tribes lived in the region stretching from northern Arabia to the eastern Nile Delta in Egypt.